Wait a minute. Where was my second cripple on that Umbriel? What's going on guys? I know it's been a hot minute since I last uploaded some gameplay footage, sorry about that. My work schedule has been hectic lately. I did however have a little bit of free time this weekend to record this week's siege match. As you can see here we're having a bit of a Walker's Civil War here. We're facing off against our sister guild, Walker's Redux. We've already taken two of their islands and we have their King of the Hill Island down to 17 and Animal's also pretty far down there and they've only taken one of ours, however they have our American Dad Island pretty far down there, which is pretty impressive because we have a pretty strong American Dad Island. Um, I did have some requests a while back to see some animal gameplay, so I will be hitting their animal island here just to show off the animal deck a bit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Alright, first up we're going up against Alpha. Leads with the Fry. I already see where he's going with that. He's trying to make that Umbriel combo. What do I got? Well, I have the cards to make my own Umbriel. Let's see if I can beat him to the punch. We'll lead with Bandit with the item, in case I get a better character, but we'll see. Drops the Pigeon Bill, only a single fuse, not too bad. Let's see if I can get a better draw. Nope, so let's go ahead and lead my combo. Hopefully I can overtake him before he makes his Umbriel. Otherwise, that might be bad. Uh, where's the punch gonna go? Just missed, so held on by one, and a Corset combo, damn it. Well, that is unfortunate because that's going to guarantee its cripple on me there. That's going to make this harder to take out. How do I want to play this? I could go pre-combo, but I think I need to do my knife-wielding seal and hope I draw a character here to get that um, other combo because I'm going to need another strong combo to overcome his Umbriel there because it's buffing his Pigeon Bill something fierce with that 18 Motivate. Luckily, I have the Bodyguard on my Umbriel to block the bombs and punches. So, kind of why it's in my deck. Really good um, animal combo for that. I also love the cripple to kind of just manage damage, so definitely a top animal combo in my opinion. And as you can see, Alpha clearly agrees because he's running it. Drew a fry, so I'm going to have to make another Umbriel and hope the cripples go where I need them to. At least I got the motivate here. I need both cripples to land. At least one of them on Umbriel, his Umbriel there, so mine can live. Actually, I think I need both to hit it. Nah, I missed it. Dang it. Wait a minute. Where was my second cripple on that Umbriel? Did you guys see that? Rewind the tape. That is some bullshit. Where is my cripple? Come on, Kong. That's just BS. Well, I'm down to 19 HP now. Like, they got two cards on me in the open slots there. Doesn't really matter what I play, because Brian Statue and his Fry in the open slot, more than enough damage to end me. That's going to be my loss. I think even if I did get my other cripple there, I still would have lost, but I'm still mad. Next up is going to be up against Maverick. This one should be fun. Maverick is the leader of Walker's Redux. Let's see what I got for Maverick. All right, I have a couple options. I got my own Sacrificial Robot Goat there. I can make my Mythic Bob combo or go Bobby. Let's see what Mavs got for me and then decide. Drops the Whiskey Bartender. It only has nine Bodyguard. I think I'm going to go with that Bob combo for the, um, the Squirrel Death. Absolutely love that combo. Has a metric crap ton of bomb. Or not bomb, I mean heal. Metric crap ton of heal. Still got a good amount of bomb. It's a metric crap ton of jab to be breaking through the walls there. And he dropped another pre-combo. I'm feeling in a pretty good spot here, pretty secure. I can just throw out a pre-combo now to build out my wall to defend. I think I'm pretty golden. Um, I do want to take a quick moment once again to apologize for the lack of video, guys. As I mentioned, my work schedule has been freaking hectic. You might have noticed there was no videos this past Rumble and also no swole video gameplay. And once again, I apologize for that. I tried my best, but work's been pretty brutal with the hours. Um, I do work in retail and it is the back to school season right now so those hours be crazy right now just as crazy as the freaking customers so i'm pretty out of it come um come the end of my day so try to put out what i can um i'm gonna try to get a little bit more consistent on it if i can give it about another month or so and things should calm down a bit and i should be able to get out on a more regular schedule again after that so bear with me i'm doing my best that i can with that that being said, just to give you guys some updates on my channel, um, I did look into getting the 
next series going of my Pokemon Nuzlocke for Fire Red. Took me quite a bit of messing around with some settings to figure out how to get that to work, but I'm pretty sure I found a way to get that to run smoothly on my janky setup here. I'm working with a pretty old, outdated Mac Pro, so took quite a bit to figure out how to get the recording software to work on that, but I did finally figure it out. I think I can get it to work. So once I do have the free time to get started on that, I will start recording the batches of those. Um, keep an eye on my Facebook, Twitter, and the like. I'll keep you guys posted as more updates become available. And once I get a good starting point of those set up, I'm going to try to make those a daily upload Monday through Friday for that series once it gets going. Um, I do still plan to keep doing animation throwdown videos on top of that, but I do want to start branching out, as I mentioned before, into other games. I do want to start being able to do console games as well. That will require me to get a new computer though because Macs are very stubborn for trying to get any outside tech to work with it. So that will probably be quite a bit of time before I can afford to get a new computer for that. But just something to think about for the future on that in the channel. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now and where I've been, just to give you guys an update because you guys are amazing. We've come a long way over these past uh, my god, it's already been, I think, seven, eight months since we started this. My god, what a journey. Anyways, like I said, you guys are the best, and you deserve the best, so I wanted to keep you in the loop on that. Anyways, I'm about to win this match here against Maverick, so go ahead and claim that win, and we'll move on into the next match. As you can see here, though, I had a pretty nice setup there with my, my Squirrel Death. It held its own there, had my Umbriel, had the Doghouse Bobby, which is another great combo for the gas healed animal and payback. Love all of those. All right, next up is up against WWJ Eli. Opens with a Leela. Oh man, he's going for the cats. Hope he does not get it. What do I got here? Got my bandit comes with all three. Let's see what happens. I got options. Oh, of course it made the cats. Damn it. That is a great combo. It's got a lot of cripple all, a good amount of leech and hijack. What do I want to do for this? Squirrel death. Well, a great combo, I don't think can outlive it because Cats has the hijack. Or not the hijack, the leech. Umbriel has the cripple. Pigeon Bill has the punch. Uh, I think Peggy might be my best option because I have the gas there. That kind of counterbalances the leech. It's more gas than the leech value too. Plus I have the 23 sturdy there. I think that's my best bet to take out the Cats. Drops the down to the bone pre-combo. Uh, normally I would say Brian statue next for the the motivate just to get more attack, but that has hijack, so that's not a good way to go. I drew my sacrificial robot goat. I think I need to make another combo here to try to overtake it. We'll lead with the goat, get the island buff for the animal, and it does have nine sturdy wall, so it is a bit protected. Drops the fry. Okay, so now I have a decision to make. Which way do I want to take it? Also, what's my draw? So let's see here. Uh, another fry. So I got Bob. Could do Squirrel Death. Wait a second. Cats only has 19 HP left. Duke already is going to take it out with 20. Let's do Umbriel. The Motivate's going to get hijacked this turn. However, it doesn't matter. Duke is more than enough to take out the cats, and then I'll just get the Motivate next turn. What's more important is with Umbriel, I have the 20 Bodyguard there, which will block the punches on both cards. Since Down to the Bone has 14 punch, I do want to make sure my Duke stays alive. Plus, the 26 Cripple is nothing to scoff at either, so that's why I did that move there. They played the Sacrificial Robot Goat instead of comboing. Works for me. Let's go ahead, and I don't have an item to do another combo just yet. I think Brian Statue's the way to go here. I do have the sturdy wall built into it, and it will buff my Umbriel a bit, so it's one step closer to dropping it down to the bone. And if they do combo their Fry, my Brian Statue can survive an extra turn, giving me a chance to make another card down the line to try to get an open slot attack there, because Duke did one shot. And sure enough, they did combo into an Umbriel. Jesus, that is scary as hell. That combo buffed the down to the bone because it had the boost skill there. It's got 50 attack. Jesus Christ. My Umbriel is barely holding on by two. Uh, let's go ahead and put the Iraq Lobster, though. I'll set up a combo over there. I luckily still have 65 HP, so even if I take that hit on Umbriel next turn, my Brian statue still got pretty high HP. I can take the hit and live. All I have to do is combo next slot after this 54 direct from Duke, and it should be my win, assuming I don't get crippled on a Rack Lobster from the Umbriel. Even if it does cripple, though, depending on the combo, it might be enough to still end it. We'll see where this is going. Bye-bye, Umbriel. I held on 
Brian statue is going to hold on here. Cripple didn't hit me, so that's good. Go ahead and make the combo for that win. We're going to go ahead and make Squirrel Death to deliver the death blow. All right, next up is up against Dwight. Opens up with the Pigeon Bill pre-combo. Let's see what I got to counter. All right. Go ahead and leave my bandit. It is my offensive item, and I do have options on the combo. Let's see what Dwight plays. A Eugene Belcher is probably going for that two-butt goat combo. How do I want to play this? I do have my Peggy. I could go mythical here and do dupe. However, the two-butt goat does have gas damage on it. Let's go ahead and just make Pigeon build. By doing this, I'm not giving him a target next turn to gas if he combos, and I get punches and bombs here. So mine's a stronger version of his pre-combo. And look at that, there's the two buck goat, that disgusting 25 gas. It also has 14 motivate, so my pigeon bill has 16 hijack, I get to steal all of that. That was a great counter to that. Um, I do have the punches and bombs, let's do a knife wielding seal for the high HP and I can make another combo next turn. I'm in a pretty good spot, his pigeon bill is falling. Would have been cool if the punch would have hit two buck goat, but hey, whatever, I'm still in this. So, I did take a bit of a hit directly there. I'm down to 50 HP. I am gassed though. That is 25 gas. I think we're going to do Umbriel for that bodyguard to block a good chunk of the gas damage. And I get the motivate going to my pigeon bill, turning him into a complete monster. Look at that right there. The motivate, 70 attack, 25 bomb, nine, or 19 bomb, 25 punch. It's a beast. Alright, next up is Alpha again. Let's see if we can get some redemption for that loss earlier. It opens with the Pigeon Bill. Let's see what I got to counter here. Alright, let's go ahead and leave with my Robot Goat. I have a couple options there. Could meet him for a Pigeon Bill or do a Fry. Drops it down to the bone. So... I think I'm going to probably want to go with my Pigeon Bill combo to take advantage of that bomb and punch there to try to just take out his combos. Alright. So, I'm going to be dealing a good amount of damage here with my 24 punch and 18 bomb. Drops a knife wielding seal. I am going to need to play catch up now though, so I'm going to probably want to drop my down to the bone in slot 2. And actually, hindsight being 2020, the better move probably earlier would have been to drop the down to the bone last turn and then combo this turn. I would have avoided the direct attack and comboing this turn would have given me my, um, my boost on my down to the bone for the attack on combo, which would have given me more attack. But hey, hindsight's always 2020. And Jesus, he made a mythic falcon attack quagmire. Look at that thing. 17 craze. Holy shit. 19 bomb and 24 jab. That's some scary crap right there. Uh, what can I do? Could combo with my Peggy there. Let's lead with Peggy though. She has higher HP, so she can survive the hit. Um, with the animal buff on the items, they probably would have survived too, but I don't want to take any chances. Plus, Peggy's dealing some payback damage there, so it works. And I do believe when I make my combo here, my down to the bone should have enough attack with that boost now to hopefully end it. Am I right? Let's see here. We'll make the combo either way because I do need it to live. Yep, 32 attack. That's more than enough. That's going to be my win right there. But holy crap, that was scary for a second with that falcon attack. Alright, and next up is Dwight again. Man, I just started watching The Office, and every time I see your name, dude, it makes me think of Dwight Schrute. Anyways, you open up with the Rodeo Bobby. Uh, not a freaking item in sight. Jesus. Let's go ahead and, I guess, lead with Leela. She's got a pretty good power behind her, 21 attack, she's got the punch and the cripple all. Hoping I draw an item here to get the cats, because that cripple all wall with the leech would be great. Damn it, no item. We'll do down to the bone for the pre-combo, just to start playing to the island buff. It does have leech as well and some more punches, but I really need to draw an item to make cats. It's going to be crucial. Oh, and of course you make the Umbriel. Damn it. That's going to suck. You're buffing the hell out of the Rodeo Bobby with that Motivate. My punches are useless now with the Bodyguard, and you're crippling me. And still no item. What the hell? Oh, man. Uh, I guess we'll do... Um, I'm losing Lilo no matter what here from that payback and all that attack. So Bob for the Cripple All just to try to maintain some, um, some Cripple All while there to block some damage. But this is not looking good. So, drops the gene, there's more motivate on that, so I'm getting hit even harder on the down to the bone. Damn it. Bye, Leela. Dang it, I really could've used the item. Oh, and sure, now I draw the item, which doesn't even go with Bob, either. Well, we'll leave with the item for the HP, but I think that's too little too late. Um, let's 
down to the bone getting a leech here to maybe stay alive. Uh, with the cripple all, I think it should stay alive here. Nope. Combo did a two butt go for some more motivate, setting Umbriel's attack over the edge. Well, crap. Down to the bone is dead as hell now. And Bob's going to be taking quite a big hit. This is not looking good. Um, what can I do here? Uh, I can combo to Duke. That does have the jab and the gas to take out Rodeo Bobby. Though Umbriel's hitting me for 48 direct if I do that, and I am losing Bob. I could do Umbriel too. I think I need to do that to use that cripple there and hopefully get a good cripple to try to not take as much damage. But I think that's just stalling out the inevitable either way. Ah, oh, man. Just everything was working against me here with that all character draw and not drawing an item until it was too late. RNG Jesus had other plans for me. That guy was working against me from the beginning. With how often RNG Jesus screws me, I need to have some t-shirts or something made up because it seems to screw me quite a bit. Oh man, let's go ahead and make the umbrella and hopefully get that lucky, um, that lucky cripple, but I'm not liking my odds here. I think no matter what, I'm kinda, kinda up shit's creek without a paddle. Oh man. Yep, there that went. It's got a three card wall on me. I'm taking, what is that, 50, almost 60 direct here, and then, yep, I'm boned. That's it. RNG just bent me over and took me to town. Holy hell. Alright, and next up is up against the man, the legend, the Vinny, 521 himself. Let's see here. Go ahead and leave with El Bandito and try to maybe make that fry combo. Let's see what Vinny's got for me. Ah, oh, frickin' course it makes a Mythic Cats combo. And no other character in sight. Okay, let's go ahead and make the Umbriel and see how this works out. Luckily, I get to cripple it for one turn, but it's going to be leeching still because it's not crippled all the way, so not liking my odds. Drops the knife-wielding seal. What can I, What can I possibly do to try to come back from this? What's the draw? Brian statue, tight. I'm gonna still need another combo because there's no way I'm overtaking that cat's. Sacrificial robot goat, might, that's actually a good way to go. I get the island buff and it has nine sturdy so that will block the nine attack from knife wielding seal so that can stall out a bit. Hopefully I draw a character to something that can deal with the cats. Preferably um Bob or something with bomb that I can deal with it. A freaking course of combos into Umbriel, damn it. Welp. That Cats is now going to have a crap ton of Motivate added onto it there, hitting me extra hard. And of course, Umbriel gets crippled, so it can't attack. I drew Peggy. Um, I have to combo just to stay alive, but because Umbriel has all that bodyguard, it pretty much negates my gas damage, so Duke's kind of useless there now. Some of it's still breaking through, and I do have the sturdy wall, which is nice, but not digging my odds there. And... Umbriel is dying right now because of the Zap Brannigan's cheer onto the cats. It's killing it perfectly. So I am now down two cards. I'm taking a direct attack next turn for sure. How do I want to proceed? Drew a knife wielding seal. I do need a pre combo. So it's either down to the bone or Brian statue. Down to the bone does go to the island buff to get some more HP and it has leech. Um, my punches are useless because of the bodyguard. So that sucks. Brian statue will give me a bit of motivate onto the duke there so it can attack and cause some gas damage and it has the sturdy wall the downside is it doesn't get buffed let's just play the island buff honestly no matter what i do i'm not digging the odds here that cat's is out of control it's crippling me by 15 oh and it makes a number another umbriel a oh, freaking course oh god make the pain stop oh jesus okay um down to the bone is taking a hit there it's dying for sure next turn I, I still need to block that open slot there. Uh, it doesn't even matter. I'll just throw out whatever. Like, this is my loss. Just please make the pain stop. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, down to the bone. Slot one is dying, and I think that's already matched. Holy sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> Drops the bandit. It, it doesn't matter. I'm over this match. Just where's the forfeit button? Where's the speed up button? Just make the pain end. All right, let's see if we have some better luck up against our next opponent, Killer B. Leads with the Philip J. Fry. Let's go ahead and... Crap. Only got Knife Wielding Seal. At least I can make a combo with Fry. We'll lead with that. Gotta be careful. Killer B can be quite deadly. 
Uh, I'm gonna want to go ahead and probably lead with my combo next as a Falcon attack Quagmire in the field there. Yep, let's combo up. Gotta be careful, otherwise he might sneak up on me and cause some massive damage here. So give me a good cripple on the Falcon there. Guaranteed hit. And... Damn it, Umbriel. That's what I meant by sneaking up on me. That's going to be powering up the Falcon attack so it can attack this turn and hit me directly and build its craze. Damn it all. I drew my bill so I can combo with Knife Wielding Seal. Problem is that Umbriel has got bodyguards that blocks pretty much all of what the Pigeon Bill combo is all about because of the punches and bombs. Damn it. Ah oh, man, where's the, where's the cripple going to go? Of course it hits the one that I'm not too worried about. Damn it. And he dropped the Lilo to get Motivate to the Falcon Attack 2 to cause even more damage. Holy hell. Oh man, looks like my um, losing streak might not be over yet. Let's see, I can still make my Pigeon Bill. Um, if I get super lucky with Cripples from Umbriel, it could potentially still live. And if I get super lucky on Punches and Bombs, I might be able to drop the Lila too. Maybe, is that enough? 40? I would need a punch from Zap too, but I think that would be enough to drop the Leela there if I get super lucky. Alternative is blocking the 20 direct, because if that doesn't take it out, I do take the 20 direct. Um, I think I just gotta go for it. A Hail Mary here and pray to RNG Jesus be on my side for once and give me something here. Where's the cripple gonna go? Alright, there's one. I'll survive the hit. Missed the punch, which means Leela lived. And of course it went for the cat's combo. Damn it! Oh, well, at least Pigeon Bill's gonna live, so that's working out for me, which is nice. Um, Umbriel's barely holding on by six. I'm down to 28 HP. Uh, I think I've got to do Brian Statue, use that Motivate on there, buff up Pigeon Bill. That way Falcon falls for sure. Got the wall built into Brian Statue so it can survive a little bit. I am losing my Umbriel, though, and I missed the cripple on their Umbriel, which means I think I'm losing it this turn from that direct attack. Especially has got the Motivate from the Gene on there. I think if I had another turn here, I could have maybe come back around, but I think that's it. That's game. I lose. Damn it. All right, Alpha, round three. Let's do this. Here we go. I'm going to win this no matter what. What do I got? Perfect. Bandit and Bill. Perfect. We're going to make Pigeon Bill. It's going to work out fine. Okay, well, he's got Umbriel now. Perfect counter to my Pigeon Bill. I have to combo either way though to do as much damage as I can out the gate, otherwise I'm completely screwed. So let's go ahead and make the combo. I'm gonna get crippled this next turn. Let's see what we can do to try to come back from that. Damn it. Drop the quagmire. That sucks. That has bomb built into it and gas. Uh I think I have to do Brian Statue for that bodyguard to protect myself from the bombs and the gas. I do get the motivate too, which will give me a slightly better uh, better edge there to try to drop the Umbri Hell. <laughs> Oh man, I really need to drop that. Come on. Uh, okay, they didn't combo that works out fine for me. Um, please, Umbriel, cripple Brian's statue. I need you to cripple Brian's statue. Come on, do me a favor, just this one. Thank you. Oh my god, look at that. The bodyguard actually saved me. If I didn't have that, I would have lost Pigeon Bill. Okay, I need another combo. We're going to leave Peggy for the high HP and then combo next turn. Bandit would have gotten the um, the island buff, but I don't trust it not to get one shot at this point. So we'll just do that. Thank God I dropped the Umbriel. I'm still not out of the woods yet. They dropped a Brian statue. I'm not dropping that, so I am going to lose my Pigeon Bill next turn. And Brian statue's not looking too hot either. Let's go ahead and combo that Peggy up. I'm going to go ahead and make Duke. I do have the jab, so it will eat right on through the sturdy wall of the Iraq Lobster, taking it out completely. I have the 42 attack, too, so that's that's working out nicely for me, but holy hell, I am losing slot one next turn for sure. Oh, man. All right, it's down to 25 HP. Oh, and the mythic falcon attack quagmire. Holy hell. That has to jab to eat, the jab to eat through my Brian statue's sturdy wall, too, so there goes that. I held on, though. I get the 34 direct attack there. It's over. It's my win. Holy crap, talk about a butt clencher. <laughs> Jesus. But hey, we came through and we got that win. Alright, and final match is up against Killer B. Let's see if we can get some redemption here. I got the knife wielding seal. Uh, I can make Pigeon Bill or Umbriel. We'll lead with the item and decide later. Not off to a great start though. He opened with a Rodeo Bobby. That is a dangerous free combo. And he laid out the Mythic Quagmire. 
drew my down to the bone. Let's learn from past mistakes, and we're actually going to lead with the down to the bone this time and combo next turn to give him that extra buff for the, um, the boost. And I'm blocking that direct attack here. Alright, and it didn't combo on me, so that works out. Play the Pigeon Bell pre-combo instead. I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to punish him. I am Gasp, that's alright. Umbriel's got the Bodyguard there, I get the buff from the boost there for the combo, and I get the Motivate on the Down to the Bone, so he's super buffed. He's hella buff. If I get a good punch here, I get to one-shot the Quagmire too. Yay! Alright, one-shot city. Drops the Mythic Zoidberg that's fused. Holy hell, good shit, man. I have a Zoidberg of my own that I just got finally from my Swole Rewards. I finished just high enough to get it. Ended at 87, just at the bottom of the, the cutoff point to get the free stones for that. Um, reason I'm not running it in my animal deck is because nothing is researched for it yet for animal. Otherwise, he would totally be in my deck to make a down to the bone. But I digress. Um, drops it down to the bone, pre-combo of his own instead of comboing the lobster. That's fine by me. We're going to go ahead and combo up Peggy next turn to buff up my down to the bone one more time. Can I get a like for super buff? All right, gonna be able to take out that Dr. Zoidberg no problemo. I believe Rodeo Bobby is falling now too, I think, hopefully. Either way, I'm in a really good spot because I'm making holes in the wall there. I'm still at full HP. It's over next turn no matter what happens because I got that 61 direct, so... You know what, in true Magician JSO fashion, let's go ahead and end this match on a mythical note. I see my Leela there in my hand. We're gonna go ahead and throw her out there. She'll buff up the Duke just cuz, but hey, that's gonna be my win with that 63 direct from down to the bone. We got our revenge against Killer B. And that's going to do it for all of my hits against Walker's Redux in this week's Siege match. Managed to do a little bit of damage there on their Animal Island, but holy hell, they have some amazing decks. Nothing but love and respect for everybody over in Redux. Um, I'm not going to be able to get the end results of this match, unfortunately, because peek behind the curtain, it's about midnight my time right now, and I still have this week's um, box review video to work on, because I am several days late on that already just so I can get that up by tomorrow morning um, so yeah so sorry for missing the end match of the result but I think it's fairly safe to say I think we're gonna win it we have two of their islands down and we have a pretty good lead on them even if they drop another one of our islands we're about to probably drop a third feeling pretty confident in our win either way though good match Redux Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please be sure to click that like button, and if you're new to the channel or haven't already, be sure to subscribe, and also be sure to click that little um, bell icon so you get notified of new uploads as soon as they go live. Thanks again guys, until next time, peace.